Rising interest rates are not good for bond prices. That's because the prices of existing bonds decline as interest rates rise. The opposite is also true, meaning that existing bond prices rise when interest rates fall. This sounds counterintuitive though, as most people would think higher interest rates are good for bondholders. But the reality is that no one wants the bond with a lower coupon versus a new bond that offers a higher one. If you're having some trouble understanding the way interest rates, also referred to as yields, affect bond prices, you're not alone. Let's break this down. Let's say you bought a 10-year treasury bond and you bought it for $100. This bond has a 2% coupon and matures in 10 years. Two years pass, and now this bond has a duration of 8 years, which means its price goes up or down 8% for every 1% change up or down in its corresponding yield. The teeter-totter is equally balanced when the yield to maturity investors demand is the same as its coupon, 2% in this case. You'll notice that the bond is priced at par, $100. But what happens to the price of this bond if investors now demand a yield to maturity 1% higher, so 3%? If you were to sell the bond that you've owned for two years, you need to know you're not going to get what you paid for it, and here's why. When its yield increases 1% to 3%, the price drops to $92 as its duration of 8 years predicted. Because think about it, who would pay $100 for a bond that pays out only 2 when they can invest that same $100 in any new bond and earn 3? Inversely, when the yield to maturity that investors demand decreases down to 1%, the price increases above par to $108 as your bond is now more valuable. Now you can see what this inverse relationship actually does to bond prices, and that's why the interrelationship between bond yields and bond prices is so important to understand when you invest in bonds.